Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Grimwit from Natch Evil. Let's talk about the good that's come from the YouTube content ID fiasco that's going on right now. Before the tens of you watching freak out, this channel has zero strikes against it, and it really never has. This comes from a mixture of being very careful and very below the radar. I have a bad habit of being underexposed. Even if my channel is shut down, I'd probably just start again under a different name and not monetize. I don't make enough money from these videos, get enough feedback or merchandising to feed myself. Honestly, I do this for about three people to watch and the rest of you are along for the ride. But enough about that. Let's Plays are my crack cocaine, so I've been watching a lot of videos about the future of Let's Plays and game reviews in general as they exist on YouTube. Many are hailing the end times of Let's Plays, which is dumb, and I can give you one major reason why. PewDiePie. Whether you like him or not, the dude has 18 million plus subscribers, so there's clearly some value to be found in Let's Plays. My point is that Let's Play videos can either be done on YouTube, or they can be done somewhere else. And as long as they're on YouTube, YouTube makes money from them. You understand? There is a demand for people watching videos of people playing video games, and honestly, I think Total Biscuit is right. It's because of the people playing, and not so much because of the games. And suddenly, thanks to the fiasco, all us Let's Players are standing up, if not to fight, then to look around at what the heck it is we do. So the first good thing to come from the Content ID fiasco is it's made Let's Players suddenly realize the value of Let's Plays. Alright, from what I understand, the Content ID has spammed strikes against Let's Players, reviewers, and even the game developers own videos without the IP holders say so. In other words, claims are made on behalf of, say, Bethesda, without them wanting it. Make no mistake, most game companies, and I'm not just talking about the indies here, understand the value of people watching their games being played. I'm sure at some point somebody's watched my Let's Plays of Minecraft and screamed at their monitors, No! You're doing it all wrong! And then get their own copies because they know they can do better than me. Game devs have once turned a blind eye to this, but you all may notice they're starting to build streaming and recording software into their games. Now, with the fiasco, the game devs are all screaming at YouTube, No! You're doing it all wrong! Because good or bad, a Let's Play is publicity. So second good thing about the Content ID fiasco is it's woke up the game devs, all of them, to what YouTube is doing, and they're not happy. Most of them aren't happy. Okay, I'm sure there's a handful of companies, perhaps Nintendo, that think this is a good idea. I'd love to see their reasoning in writing. Meanwhile, the rest of the companies are more than willing to fight for the rights of free game exposure via Let's Plays. There is such a thing as the EFF, after all. The law of supply and demand is something very amplified on the internet. If I want to fill a fetish, no matter how razor-sharp niche it is, then I'm going to find clown bondage porn somewhere on the internet. In fact, I already have. Videos of video games isn't nearly as niche. So all of this adds up to, if people want to put video game content on the internet, they're going to do it and they're going to be paid for it. Forget about me. Look at someone like C Nanners, who I just recently got into. His videos have a lot of time and effort that goes into the editing process for his montages. Sure, it could come out of the good of his heart, but there's something to be said about compensation for his efforts. If you don't believe he should be paid for playing games, then we have entire leagues of chess players, football players, and Go players to fire. Not that it matters what you or I think. We're talking about supply and demand. So. The third good thing to come out of this fiasco, Let's Players will end up on the other side of this storm stronger, because there is a demand, and you better believe someone will supply. They'll supply and make obscene amounts of money from it. Thank you for your time. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know?